Hi, I'm David. I manage my illness with an EKG. Whereas in my case, my illness is I'm diabetic. Um, the E is to um, eat healthy. The K is to know your numbers. As you can see uh, with me, I check my glucose every morning. Um, I try to keep it below 90. Unfortunately, um, it hasn't been below 90 in quite some time now, in, in, in a few months uh, per se, um, leading up to before we got quarantined. Uh, prior to then, I kept it under control for years, you know, five, six, seven, eight years. Uh, right now, it had crept up quite a bit, but it is coming down. It is heading downward. I'm at 110 now, and it is heading downward. Uh, I try to keep it at um, 90 or lower, so that's the K. Um, G is to um, get off the couch. Uh, get off the couch. Um, it can be exercise, but not really. The main thing is get off the couch, get some activity. Uh, also, even mental activity. Um, you know, take care of your mental. Mental activity would do. Just basically, um, you need to get off the couch. Speaking of getting off the couch, you see I'm outside today. I normally uh, film this portion inside as I'm getting ready to um, get off the couch, or either I'm getting ready to um, fix something to eat. But I came outside today. Um, it's it's real nice out here, as you can see. It's real nice um, where I live. Um, the nice days has been, the nice days have been far and few in between. So I'm taking this opportunity to get outside, get some sunshine. Actually, if you've been quarantined um, in the home in your home for a while, on the nice days you really need to uh, get out if you can. I uh, really need to get out. Uh, being stuck inside, I can imagine that does something to your uh, mental. Uh, it does something to your mental uh, really being stuck inside you really need to get out let the sun hit your face breathe some fresh air what have you and i think that will really help your psyche as we go through all of this um, i know some areas have started opening back up hey let's be smart about that thing like i said in my last um, vlog be smart about it use your own common sense uh, whether you should be going out to some of the places they have opened back up um, you know, you know what your illness is, you know what you're trying to control, you know your condition. So just because they have opened up a tattoo parlor or a bowling alley, that doesn't mean you have to go and do it right now. Yeah, you may want to get coronavirus tattooed on you. You can wait. You got time to do that. I wouldn't rush there right now. Um, I know I was talking with my family, uh, we was talking about it here recently about some of these um, states, some of these areas open up, opening up, I guess, establishments that just doesn't make sense. Like, you hear me saying tattoo parlor, so you know that doesn't make sense to me. So, but they opening up these, um, these, these businesses that just really doesn't make sense that they should be open. And my son said, it, it, this reminded, reminded him of um, the Canaries well, with the um, coal miners. Uh, basically, back in the day, coal miners used to take caged canaries in the mines with them because they were more susceptible to uh, toxic gases. Basically, if the gas levels start ride, uh, rising high in the mine, the canaries would die. However, um, that level where the canaries would die, it wasn't toxic to humans, but you know the gas level is rising, um, is rising, so we need to get the heck up out of there. And so that's what they would do. If the canaries start dying, that means they would get out of the mine. So basically, uh, the whole analogy is, okay, we're going to let these people go to tattoo parlors, bowling alleys, let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, you know, is that what's really going on now? I don't know, but it makes sense to me. And that's why I say you really use your own judgment um, whether you should be going to some of these establishments that they, that they are opening up right now. Um, like I say, you know your condition better than anyone else. You know what you can tolerate, how you react to different things. Uh, you know your situation better than anyone else. So just because the, um, your, I guess, uh, government or your community has opened these things back up, doesn't mean it's really time for you to go. I heard someone say, see, what you really should use as the gauge is, once they start letting visitors back into hospitals, ah, eh, okay, it might be safe to go back out and play then. Because it, at the hospital, the scientists will be making that call. Uh, health professionals will be making that call, not some politician. So, anyway, I thought I would share that morsel with you. Like I said, today is a nice day. Today is really nice. I think for my get off the couch, well, I know for my get off the couch, I'm going to join the wifey there um, on her walk that she does um, a couple of times a week. I'm going to join her on a walk. So that would be my get off the couch today. 
Okay, on to the next stop. Okay, here it is. The wife and I decided to get off the couch today and take a walk around the neighborhood. No, like I said on my Instagram post, the hood, um, that's our get off the couch today. Like I said, today was really a nice day. See, there's someone riding with their top down. It was just one of those days. And here in PA, those days have really been far and few between. It's been chilly, really. The golfers are even out. Honestly, about two weeks ago or so, I think the governor uh, allowed golf courses to open back up. That's me and my trusty um, Blackberry. I've owned Blackberries for the longest. Uh, that's the only phone I ever owned, actually, for the last 15 years or so. Actually, I'm going to do some filming with my Blackberry. Not bad, isn't it? That's a pretty decent picture with my Blackberry there. Man, I'm going to miss them. That white convertible has passed us about three times. Anyway, um, I'm going to zoom in on the yard over there. I think the house there, they had one of those little drive-by parties for the kids where people drive by and honk, honk their horns. Uh, pretty neat, you know, people are coming up with creative ideas to celebrate during this period of quarantine. Like I said, although we're out walking, we're practicing Hi. social distancing. Hi. Hey, we got off the sidewalk, let them have it, trying to stay that six feet apart. Cool. Cool. Now, my wife and I, we have on little jackets, you know, because I said it is a little breezy. Hey, when that white car there passed, I thought it was that convertible again when we was out walking. I was getting here, I said, okay, here we go. See when joggers are out. Hey, like I said, my wife and I, we have on jackets, but I guess if you're jogging, you warm, you don't need it, uh, a shirt on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, come on, go on this. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, this, 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 this is it. All right, we. Hey. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we're finishing up. We're finishing up our walk. And yeah, this was a good get off the couch. Okay, on to the next stop. Okay, I'm getting ready to fix something to eat. Well, not really. I'm getting ready to fix something to drink. I think the last couple of vlogs that I put out, it was something to drink versus something to eat. <laughs> hey, maybe being quarantined, uh, being sheltered at home has changed my habits. <laughs> but anyway, no, really, like I said, it was such a nice day outside. It's really nice. I'm going to do something, um, I guess a summery drink, even though it's not summer. Uh, heck, spring don't even want to come in, but today is a nice day, so I felt like making a summer type drink. I'm going to make a strawberry bourbon smash. Um, I get the recipe from Jay-Z. No, really, Jay-Z. I didn't say the Jay-Z, but Jay-Z Hetley. Okay, here I go. Okay, I did it. This is a strawberry bourbon smash. Looks tasty, doesn't it? And it looks summery, like the, the look I was going for. The, now let's see, is it gonna be the taste that I was going for? Jay-Z did okay. This is pretty good. This is, this actually, this is real good. I would definitely be making more of these in the summer. 
Okay, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.